Hello everyone, my name is Moran and welcome to Tutorials Hub channel. Today's video is going to be about how you can customize your checkout here on your Shopify page. So we're going to do step-by-step -step tutorial in order for you to understand how you can customize it by yourself without spending any money on developers. So before we dive deeper into this video, you can check the link in our bio description down below and get one month for only one dollar of Shopify subscription. So click the link down below and it will navigate you to Shopify page. So let's dive into this video. What we're going to do, we're going to go over to settings. Then we will navigate over to checkout. Here you will, save, you will see different fields that you guys can basically manage and how you want the checkout to look like. So I definitely want to have phone number and email uh, that my customers include basically so we can text them and uh, send them emails about their shipments and everything. Uh, I will also require first and last name. You can only re require a last name if you want, but I usually prefer having both. Uh, company name is something that I excluded right now. So we will exclude that because we don't ship anything for the companies. We ship only B2C products, business to customer products. So we will exclude that. Address line, we will leave it as optional because maybe some people have different address lines so they need to they need to insert that information too so they can ship they can get the shipped product on the perfect address uh, shipping address and phone number uh, that's something that we can also leave as optional uh, marketing options uh, so this is uh, a checkout this is a part where they can basically sign up for the email list so they get like promotional emails uh, we want that involved as well. Maybe if you want to target them with e SMS marketing, you can check this one as well. So we're going to check this one for the for this video. I usually don't do SMS marketing at this stage, but that's really good channel to advertise and a really good channel to promote. So if you guys have the capacity to do it, I definitely recommend that. Tipping. Tipping basically is when you allow your customers to give you additional resources money uh, because you, they support your brand because maybe they want to to give you a little bit extra money uh, so we can include that so you can have them in percentage wise uh, let's say that the first preset would be 10 percent of the total checkout order second preset can be like 15 percent and third preset can be 20 percent additionally on the top of your order value uh, high tipping on options until customers choose to add a tip so maybe you guys don't want to be so pushy with tipping maybe you want to just hide it we're just gonna press save so you can see what type of changes we did so far so to do that i'm gonna refresh the page as you can see we have removed company option uh, they got this checkout so they can include phone number so they get offers they have shipping method uh, as usual but they need to insert the shipping method first because not all of the shopify stores are set to ship in every country uh, that's that's been on, on the on the globe on the global level so let's say that maybe my shopify store does not ship over to I don't know India for example uh, this shopping will not uh, this checkout will not work because we don't ship to to India for example so it really is uh, extremely important that you guys uh, fix everything within Shopify here uh, regarding your shipping policy uh, about tipping you can see that we additionally added tipping options now you can have tipping options as well or you can just type in custom tip however you want you can just type any number basically that you want uh, to tip the sh the shopify store with and we're gonna proceed further but before we do that i'm gonna just press save so we get all of the changes saved uh, and this is pretty much it guys uh, we've covered everything so in case you don't want this being included in your checkout you can just go back 
and uh, basically cancel it and turn it off. So once we do that, press save. We're going to refresh the page. Just wait for it to load. Now it's loaded. We're going to refresh it so you can see that the changes are applied immediately. And as you can see, there are no tipping options anymore. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to remind you that you can click the link down below in our description and get one month for only one dollar of Shopify subscription in case you're running an online business. That's definitely I would recommend you checking it out. Thank you guys for watching and see you in another video. Bye bye.